Did we build a garage? Where are we? Everyone missed you two. So much. They're back. Supervisors on duty. With all of this, we're gonna convert our truck into a truck camper. This is our truck, Trucky, a black F-150 with a six and a half foot bed and a super cab, BF Goodridge all-terrain tires, and a new tunnel cover. A lot of people say, this truck is too big for me, but I have to say, it's the right size. Comes with a screwdriver. Thank gosh. We didn't bring any of our tools, so. And a measuring tape. Oh! That means we need nothing to install it. If you're all wondering where Bella and Izzy are, they're ready to adventure. These are the towers, there's four of them. Pinch the two sides and remove the cover of the tower. Not so easy. There we go. Open the safety pin. This is looking very straightforward. Very impressed with these instructions. These are crossbars and they're what's gonna be going on the top of our truck and then the tent is going to sit on the crossbars. This is important because you don't want your tent to sit directly on top of your truck, obviously for weight, scratching it, and so many more reasons. You need to have it elevated with space in between. That way air can also blow right through and not have any condensation or mold build up. That looks like licorice. Mm. Black licorice. <laughs> I have to say, they've done this before because look at all this. It literally tells you all the models of the vehicles. So instructions are made easy. My kind of instructions. For our model, we moved these towers to 47 and 3 fourths. That way the weight is evenly distributed on the roof. As easy as this is, for every vehicle there are different pitches, different measurements, and certain things that are very important to make sure this goes on accurately. A couple more steps and we might be putting them on the roof. I think they're over the building. The girls just want to adventure. They've already got their exact spots. Bella the driver. Izzy the passenger princess. Love that sound. We're putting them up, everyone. Okay. One more. Now we do it all over again. Open the doors. Tighten, tighten, back and forth. Tighten, 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 tighten. Because you don't want to over tighten one side because then the other side pulls it all the way over and then it's not even in level and you don't want that. Here we go. All right, they're up, they're done. And can you believe it? It's time to put our new home on top. However, like I said, we don't have any of our tools. And all we need is a wrench that's gonna go on this. That's all the tools I can find here. <laughs> to the hardware store, we go. Are you driving? <laughs> a good test to make sure that the racks don't fall off before we put our home on top, that's for sure. If you don't follow us on Instagram, this is what I got Crystal for Christmas. An excavator. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Time to put the tent up. And it's heavy. You got your guns? Got my guns. Mm-hmm. These brackets need to go over the crossroads. Ready? <laughs> He's looking pretty spiffy. And when I finally found what I've been missing. Oh no, let's go. The tent is level on each side. It's looking perfect. And now Crystal's just going to screw down the lock nuts. And we should be on our way soon. I'm very surprised that everything 
is intact with the tent because we did get it used off Crystal's friend. So thank you, Kate. But I guess time will tell when we get to our camp spot if all of the pieces are there. It's so easy to lose camping gear, so you just never know, you know? It's official, Truckee has a tent. I just tightened all of the bolts so perfectly. It is rock solid and going absolutely nowhere. She's ready to camp. Portable power station is going right in the cab because we have the tunnel cover that will keep it dry. Heavy. This truck has a built-in 120 inverter already installed and there is a tailgating plug at the back. So when we're driving, we can plug it in and it can charge it. Who is she? Who is here? She's a truck camper. You ready, adventure dogs? Let's go. If you're anything like me when you're getting ready to go away on a trip, the first thing you're thinking about is how am I gonna stay connected while I'm away? Connecting to Wi-Fi isn't easy or accessible and data roaming is super expensive. Luckily for us, Jasmine's brother, who's on top of everything, told us about eSIMs over a year ago. Thank you to Arlo for sponsoring this video and keeping us connected while we're down here in Florida. This past summer when we were in Amsterdam, we got to use an eSIM for the first time. And we have since used them not only in Amsterdam, but Croatia, Mexico, the United States, Colombia, and the Bahamas. I've got a cute passenger here. I still can't believe this is real as a longtime traveler searching for reliable Wi-Fi and SIM cards is over. Airlo provides instant and affordable connectivity through eSIMs in over 200 countries and regions. No physical SIM cards and no worries about paying super high fees to your home provider while you want to use your phone in another country. It's all convenient, easy in one app on your phone. As you can tell, I'm super passionate about this. Airlo has local, global, and regional eSIMs. When you're in a singular country, you can use a local SIM to connect to a local network with the best prices and the best speed. To get Airlo, all you need to do is click the link in the description to download it or head to your app store. Here are all the most popular countries or you can search by destination. These are all of my eSIMs, Bahamas, Mexico, USA, Colombia, Croatia, Netherlands. And as soon as I land, I can connect instantly and have no issues. Starting route to division of forestry J7. You ready to adventure, Bella? What about you, Izzy? Nap time. <laughs> this bridge looks like you're gonna go off the other end. Like it doesn't have another side. We're leaving on our first camping trip with Truckee. So excited. I can't wait to test out our work and see how this simple truck camper does. We might be driving this truck a lot of miles in the future, down to Mexico. Right now, we're in Pensacola, Florida, and we are going to be heading northeast into... Turn right. Well, we're actually just gonna be going right at the next light, if you're thinking simplistic terms. But we're gonna be heading out northeast, more into the rural areas, where no one is, and I'm excited. If you miss seeing Bella and Izzy in the videos, hashtag Bella and Izzy in the comments. Looks like we can't make it over Alligator Creek. Bridge is closed, under construction. Luckily, there is like a million and one spots out here, I feel like. So we have found another one, and I think we might have even found a prettier one. Our tires have hit the dirt. Ooh, that's a nice spot. This is one of my favorite parts about camping is finding your dream spot for the night. Backyard keeps changing. These are some tall trees. It's very pretty. In some cases, the drive is one of the best parts. This is one of those some cases. And Trucky is handling the bumps like a champ. In the van, we would literally be like, our whole house would be apart back there. And not here. Oh, 
What up, girl? You're awake now. Yeah, I say we come back here. Seems like, I mean, there's no one here. I always like being a little bit back from the water. And you get more privacy. This is nice, everyone. Good girls using the ramp. Good girls, you need a drink of water? I'm so pumped up for our first night truck camping with Trucky. This spot is perfect. It's quiet and it's way more beautiful than I could have ever expected. And we're in our own truck. Yeah, this is super exciting. The start of a whole new chapter of truck camping. I'm already like thinking of ideas of like pull outs back here. Yeah. You know? All right, I think the first thing we need to do is open up the tent for the very first time ever. <laughs> and, hope. and hope that it's perfectly set and that we can get the ladder out and we can get up in there and or check out our new home. Or we're sleeping in the crew cab. <laughs> no, tighten. There's a lot, oh, and they made me grab it. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> You've gotta do it. <laughs> And Ooh. then it goes off into this hole, right there. Okay. Is that it? Are we done? That wasn't too bad to pop that up. Pretty easy, actually. But we do need to rearrange the truck because the truck is on level ground, but the ground beside the truck is in a divot. And the ladder that goes down supports half of the tent. This is currently vertical, as you can see, and we want it to be more of a slope, so it's easy to get up and down. Because we have two hefty dogs that are going to be sleeping in there with us. 72 pounds and 52 pounds. How are we getting those girls up? I haven't thought that far. I'm sure it's gonna be funny, though. That looks good. Perfectionist Crystal is back, everyone. She doesn't even like this spot. Is this how you find a level spot in a truck? Someone's just on the ladder, someone's on the truck, and you just... Someone's gonna laugh at us, I have a feeling. Perfect! Perfect! We did it! Woo! Perfectionist Crystal! All right, do the honors, Crystal. <laughs> your, your ladder's perfect, it's still vertical. Those normally stay out, don't they? Yeah. Okay, so where the door entry is, and then there's windows on one side and two side, I believe there are supposed to be poles that come out and hold it up. That way, if it rains, the rain will go off of the tent, as well as airflow. So I'm hoping that these are inside the tent. I'm not sure if they are, but we'll find out. This tent is absolutely massive. I don't know why I didn't think that it folded out to be double the size of the square footage of what it is actually on top. It's so big. And I'm just looking at it, the plastic is still on it. This was a great buy for us. We got it for such a great deal, getting this used from a friend and it's in great condition. Other than we may potentially be missing these poles because I don't see them anywhere yet, but fingers crossed they come up and if not, we'll jerry rig something. We'll jerry rig something. <laughs> It'll make it a little more fun. Whoa! It's very big. That's massive in here. Yeah. Look at the plastic, it's still here. Like. I'm very, very impressed. I love that this is going to be able to sit on top of the truck. You hardly notice it. And then you can just pop this out in a matter of minutes and you can go camping. She's in! I feel like we're going to get a great night's sleep. No service, a nice comfy mattress. We're with our whole family. Love it. Little things to like put your belongings so you don't lose anything. Yeah, that's nice. Window one, window, window two. Yeah, four windows. Window three. And this is a window. Any poles? Missing the poles. I think I have an idea. We got trees. This is our truck camping box. I love it. Feels good to have a box full of everything you need. Here we go. Okay, try and walk that over there, see if it goes that far. Obviously. That's sick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> Well, it looks like we had enough rope for this side. Got it? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Hold on, Jazz, your hand. Hold on to what? Me! <laughs> Hi, girls. Mom's got two. <laughs> Woo! Back Where are we going? Up. Where are we going? And we're a little short for the other, so I think I might go find a stick. That's why you always carry a rope in your camping bin. One side is perfect. That window is half done. We're working with what we have, everyone. I think it's gonna storm. With rain in the forecast and 
limited rope. We are having fun out here, getting creative to put a tarp up so we have a little bit of shelter to make dinner and everything later. Might look funny, but you can all make fun of us in the comments. <laughs> House is set up, living room set up. And now the bedroom. You ready? Yeah, pull up. Oh, is he? It's okay guys, it's just me. Bed. <laughs> room. I love it. This is how we're gonna get Bella in, I think. Yeah, 100%. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You have the zippers, by the way. Obviously, oh. they're not on the outside. I feel them, that's so People weird. could break in. Don't want anyone breaking in your tent. Whole lot of valuables in here. It's just a crystal and some pillows. Wow, I could stay up here all day. I need a snack. It's so nice. Let's make dinner. Snack time after all that setting up. for the night. Our girl for the night. It's like a microphone. It makes me so happy to see the girls outside all day long. They love going camping and they get out here and they just plop their butts down and take it all in. You just tell they're right at home. Bella, those are mom sticks. You're a funny dog. When we left Nova Scotia, we knew we wanted to do some sort of truck camping. So we brought our Dometic from our van and it's still crushing, love that thing. And our power station, which fits so perfectly in the back of the truck here. And there is still so much space. Look at this, ice cold. What a luxury while camping. You just can't beat that. Kitchen supplies and toilet, <laughs> poop bags. Jazzy's on a mission to find the lighter. She oh. was burning ticks and there are a lot of ticks in the south and as we all know, they're coming north. That's why Nova Scotia and Canada, southern Canada is becoming... Yeah, thanks, America. Tick infested. <laughs> Their populations are growing. That's a joke, by the way. Um, anyways, yeah, ticks are not so nice. I gotta say that we've already seen a couple. We're relocating over here because... Kitchen supplies. I don't think it's gonna rain. It's been like this all day, so... Fire master! This wood smells so good. Pine, baby. This little stove is so sweet. It packs up into a little bag that we also had in the back of the truck, and it has a grill, and it contains the fire. That's amazing. Quick setup easy to put away, you've always got a fire pit with you. And now we're gonna test how it makes food. That's our pokey stick, but you can have any stick. Don't worry, it's just a gun, we're in Florida. <laughs> Another thing that we can add to our missing truck camping list is tongs to cook over a fire. I'm working with a plastic fork. This is our first camping trip and I can't wait to do more in this truck in various parts of the world in different climates. You never know where we're gonna be next. If you're a real life truck camper, oh, what do you think we need for our truck? Yeah. Even the most simple things like salt and pepper. <laughs> R.I.P. Shroom. Don't lose the sausages. Awesome. Pretty good. This guy's done. Oh yeah. A few weeks ago, I spoke about the feeling where the sun starts to set and the sky changes color and you get that feeling inside. Everything smells delicious right now. I have so much happiness in my body. <laughs> it smells so good and I'm warm. <laughs> you can only feel these feelings when you're camping, when you're out in nature. That's a feast. Wouldn't you say? I'd say. That's a feast. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. I was waiting for the mmm and the dance, and here it is. 10 out of 10, fire. I was waiting for the 10 out of 10, too. Dinner is done, and we're still hungry. And one of our first ever dates, we ate an entire pack of hot dogs. Sitting around a fire. Sitting around a fire. It was negative 15. I was full, to say the least, but happy. <laughs> 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 Anyone knows me, you know hot dogs are my favorite food. So, we got a couple on the stove already, y'all. We've got a big oh. appetite. Are you girls ready to try out your new home? The ladder's not gonna work, Mom. <laughs> Good go. girl. Oh, come on. Since when is she so scared of her ramp? <laughs> One. Tick check. Oh. Good girl, Izzy. 
Up, oh, nope, that's under. <laughs> up. Yep. Come on, do that again. Yes. Good girl. Okay, tick check. This way. <laughs> yes, Bella. She's a hefty girl. Up. No, no, no. You go in there. Uh. Yes. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> no, no, stay, stay, stay. I gotta go. They're such adaptable dogs, this eh? It is a tick. I knew it. Uh oh. Tick on the wizard. It goes. Tick in the bed. We're gonna have the best sleep ever. Wake up and go for a nice forest walk, girl. Perfect. And what a vibe. A little lantern in the tent. If you ever wonder what it's like to drop camp with Bella in Florida, now you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <sighs> really good sleep. Not much rain at all, just a little bit of a sprinkle. One truck came whipping down the road and then left and woke up to a gunshot <laughs> like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but I think that's some hunters or something out here. We are in a very rural area. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to come up there and help them. Oh my god. This one? This one is a little bit more graceful. Yeah. Yeah. Not that bad. Good morning. We've had the fridge plugged in now for over 24 hours. We've charged our phones multiple times and our camera batteries, and it's still sitting at 80%, which means we could be out here forever, or as the LCD screen says, three days. <laughs> We've never made coffee like this while camping. This might be the best coffee camping day of my life. Coffee maker from our garage. <laughs> which is now also our camping and our road trip coffee machine because you can also plug it inside of the truck. Coffee, numero dos. Who says you can't eat gourmet meals while living in a truck? Sausage, bagel, with some cheese, everyone. As you can see, I've got a bunch of axes in here. They're gonna help collapse the tent so everything stays inside. Wow, what a dream. That was easy. <laughs> nice. Good job, you two. True adventure pups. Packing up is just as easy as setting up. We now have a list of all the known items that we know we're missing. I'd say that was a successful first truck camping experience. I loved it. I think the girls loved it. Let us know where you think we should all take our truck camper next. That's exciting. <laughs> we better walk her now. Bye everyone. See you Sunday. Love you pack. We love truck camping. <laughs>